find what feels good. Um, if I know I'm gonna be out doing craziness that I could be arrested for, it happens. In this vlog, I'm going to cover yoga clothing and not just stylish, but one, environmentalism, Mother Earth, how it affects the Earth. Two, the energy of it, the way it makes me feel, whether I can breathe in it, whether the material breathes. So I'm going to talk all about that while I organize my clothes going through the day here, showing you some examples and some new looks. And no, they're not all new. I buy a lot of my stuff thrift store, thrift apps, and I even do some repurposing with a sewing machine very rarely. I hate sewing. So that's what I'm going to walk you through in this vlog. And if you are like my dog and like to do yoga in the nude, being able to fully breathe and move energy, then do that. Because that is your choice. Or if you desire to wear just a loincloth, small pants, like a real yogi in the Himalayas, then do that. But for the rest of us, let's talk about yoga clothing. So I was going to take you through organizing my drawers that have my yoga clothes. I don't own my, many clothing. Um, so I just brought them out in this room because this room has my professional lighting, my bedroom, the lighting. Uh, it's dark. I like it dark in there. So I'm just going to show you like what I've been doing going through sorting what doesn't work for me and i've been working on this for a while okay so the biggest thing i wear is like to do yoga that is not involving the splits because i couldn't do the splits in these but these cotton yogi pants a lot of different brands make these you can find them all over um, markets in india as well it's a drawstring the only bad thing about these is when you're doing yoga asana in them and asanas that you might like bring up your leg back like uh, warrior one you will have to like shift the pant leg up even though it is loose so there's some maneuvering to the pants these are really old they're by Roxy I've sometimes found these thrift but I've also bought them new but I'm serious like years ago I bought like three pairs of these um, Roxy tries to be more environmentally friendly, but they're not organic. I always wash my clothing too before I buy it to get off any chemicals as much dye as I can because that's going in your skin. So definitely think about that. If you're buying it thrift store, a lot of times I have to air it out and wash it at least once because people use um, harmful laundry detergent, like a really strong smell. Um, ugh, it's gross. I don't know how people will buy uh, expensive perfume and then they just smell like Tide or like dollar store fabric softener or something. Like it's so easy to buy environmentally friendly, biodegradable stuff and it doesn't smell ter terrible. And that's the same pants. These are black. I like these if I'm going to be doing yoga outside or a meditation sitting on the ground or I've worn them to like ecstatic dance or a yoga concert where I'm dancing on ground and I don't want the bottoms getting dirty. This is an example of something I'm getting rid of, donating it. These are like these are probably four years old, maybe five. Polyester, they look cute. Most people, at least in the US, wear this style of yoga pant. Um, I have muscular legs, so no matter what size I get, they are very tight. It feels like I have a corset on my leg. They are constantly constricting your fascia tissue. Your myofascial is constantly getting pressed on. That is not relaxing. Even if you try to get them not too tight, they're still tight, they're still pressing. You can get a cotton pair of leggings that will be tight, but it'll still allow energy movement and it won't be pressing on the fascia. So it's not overly tight, constricting, it moves with the body. So you can definitely still get leggings. And these were a redo, these were Prana Organic Cotton. They were white, totally see-through, I made the mistake 
of wearing these to a yoga concert where you had to like sit cross-legged and meditate and then I got home and realized the crotch was see-through uh, and I was sitting like the second row. So instead of getting rid of them, um, I actually tie-dyed them. So I did tie-dye repurposed. Oh, this is an example of poly uh, polyester. These are um, also Adidas recycled. Uh, I bought these used. These were off of eBay used. Stella McCartney, who's huge into the environment. They are polyester, yet um, it's just loose enough um, while being tight to be breathable. So there are some polyester that somehow is still breathable. Another recycled material, I bought these brand new, but they were Pride Month. So they were having representation of Pride. Being in Orlando, going out in shorts for Pride. Well, I didn't this year. It was a splurge. So we can always do things to work with the government. I mean, sorry, to work with the environment to improve it in other ways, like planting a garden, planting trees, that sort of thing, to undo what we're doing. Um, my next goal is to get further into how the workers are gonna be treated with this. That's typically why I'd rather buy from a company um, that isn't mainstream. Like I try to go on Etsy and find local makers for clothing. A lot of times it's like way out of my budget or it's hard to tell if they actually made it, but there are people. This was actually an Etsy purchase, um, just a basic California tea, but it has a message powered by plants. So promoting plant-based eating, vegan eating, but not like in a um, in your face kind of way. It's more in a like stylish lotus flower. My way of being is being plant-based. But I think having message t-shirts is nice as long as it's not extreme. So this was not eco-friendly. I'm sure a lot of chemicals, fertilizers went into growing the cotton. There you go. So this is what I was talking about. I like to wear uh, undershirt with geometric sacredness underneath it. Um, this isn't the best example, but um, you know, this will be under my clothing, sometimes as clothing, but it's underneath my clothes and it's just like, it gives a different feel to my day. And this is um, designed by Grizzy Love off of Etsy. I have like five other things, like half my wardrobe basically um, is their stuff and they design it and they put it on American Apparel. I think for the most part. What, like I said, I love yoga with Adrian. I absolutely love her. This shirt says, find what feels good. Um, if I know I'm gonna be out doing craziness that I could be arrested for, it happens. In these times, it happens. Um, I am known to wear this shirt to like, hopefully avoid that. Not end up somewhere I have to eat sandwiches and Kool-Aid. Um, that's a jail for you people outside of the US. So um, this was dark blue, which wasn't working like for me color wise. And so I made it tie dye. One last thing, cotton breathable. I found this cute thing off of Poshmark. So I'm thinking when I buy things, can I buy it used thrift store? I have to keep in mind, I'm gonna have to try to wash out gross detergent. Um, make sure it's still a good price because sometimes you can find the same price new but when you're buying new then that's they had to make it when you're buying new you're the first person that owns it um so that's something i have to think about even if i can get it for the same price what's the environmental aspect and you'd have to think more into that when i was younger i w maybe wouldn't wear as nice clothing i would do like the bare basics to do yoga in. Uh, this is an example actually. This is not organic, cheap, like $3 tank top. It's, tank tops organic are so expensive, but I'll be doing it. Uh, it is like five years old. I take care of my clothing, um, but you know, I would just always do yoga in like a $3 tank top and whatever cheap athletic pants. And that was good enough. They could have been better breathable material, more cotton, more linen, 
hemp, all of these materials that are more natural, bamboo, um, but not tight bamboo, polyester. Think about fabrics that are natural, that work with the energy flow, energy coming in the legs, energy going out the legs, being able to have the energy in your arms move. I know it's a bit out there, but it is. Like, just notice the difference, you know? Even breathing, if you're wearing a tight sports bra, rather than a kind of loose um, bra, it's something very breathable, not this shirt for sure, then you're able to breathe. If you're wearing a tight, something tight like this, or a tight sports bra, I cannot breathe in those things. Yeah, it works for running, but there is no way I can sit and work without feeling like I'm almost hyperventilating and doing yoga for sure and meditation even more. Put on your normal yoga outfit, sit down, totally tune in, meditate, and see how that clothing really feels for you. Most yoga brands are far from environmental. You can go get mainstream brands and they're sometimes better. Read the websites. Go on the websites and they will say, Fetch break, fetch 30 again. Checking out the new Beyonce recycled polyester clothing line Ivy Park with Adidas, which is environmentally friendlier, but stylish being Beyonce, top and bottom. And I can totally either hit the office with these slacks, shooting some professional video, or do some yoga asana or sit for hours in this outfit. And yes, I did spend money buying this new rather than thrift store, but I felt like I earned it because my pandemic puppy had bit holes in so many things and bit holes in parts of the pants that there shouldn't be things showing. This top is a bodysuit, so it is actually very versatile, working with a lot of different looks. This just arrived today. I just tried all of these on, and this is athleisure top, um, but it's very sexy, so of course I'm not going to be doing meditation in this. I could wear it in the office as well. It's kind of flexible, boom, 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 but I'm not going to be doing yoga. I don't wear anything with like underwear or tight chest area because I cannot breathe well doing yoga. So I always wear loose. I still like it for versatility and I get to fitness totally for sure in this top if I wanted to be totally crazy. But this top I totally love. It's great for this Halloween at home or wearing out. So very versatile like fitness top shooting videos work pop a blazer over it uh recycled polyester it is environmental but this was a purchase that was more like leaning on the edge of hey it's brand new i don't have to have it but i would love to have it so sometimes you gotta like not be so strict with yourself i've learned or i'll just go crazy I love wearing gold. Gold just gives me this radiance and this feeling of power. Like I could sit down and work at my desk totally alone and I would feel more empowered to get stuff done. Totally radiant look. Hey, if you have any brands that are fairly affordable, then please put them in the comments because finding affordable, organic, sustainable, non-harmful labor where the workers get paid well, that is very challenging. And even if the workers get paid really well, then the type of cloth can be really awful. Let me know how I can find both together without paying ridiculous price for a t-shirt tank top. Thanks.